Hi, this is Al Edlund. This is going to be a short introduction to the network plan sample, which is a port of an application sample that's in the Visio 2010 software development kit. This specific demo is using Visio 2010 32-bit on a 64-bit system. I'm going to walk through the uh, project really quick for those that may not have put one of these together. Uh, we're really going to look at three different areas. Uh, what makes this different than the uh, SDK version of the application is this is specifically ported to VB.NET. The example in the SDK is C Sharp. On the data side, which is where a lot of the interest is, uh, we have a number of uh, classes. We have a data source class, product data source, which is the nuts and bolts of reading our information into the application. This specific implementation reads XML from a file that's included in the project and puts it into a data set and data table. Data sets and data tables are one of the three primary data mechanisms that we use with Visio applications. Uh, data record sets being what's under the cover for the Visio 2007 and 2010 professional version. And we also have to be aware of enumerated collections. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Uh, the product data uh, uh, file is where the software is that does the basic nuts and bolts moving with the data set and doing queries. The next area that we have to look at is what is specific to Visio. We have a Visio utilities uh, file which handles some basic methods that we use for manipulating pictures uh, and probably the most important one is the sample network shape uh, stencil. The reason this is important is what we want to do here is uh, let's open the stencil for editing and we'll open one of the shapes and we'll edit the master shape and look at the shape sheet. In the shape sheet for each of these uh, uh, objects we have shape data product ID, which has a key into the table that uh, uh, we use for lookup to understand uh, how we're going to work with the uh, shape. Uh, specifically in this application, it's looking at uh, product cost data in a network application. Uh, you may use it for other things, for instance, IP addresses. The other thing we have to be aware of is if we come down to the section on uh, actions, yeah, a little further, excuse me, events, uh, we discover that there's an event double click event uh, that is being called and it's running an add on Q marker event and we've included the data that points to our application. This is used uh, to handle uh, events when we're working with the drawing shape. Close this out. The other uh, uh, file that we have to be aware of is Event Sync, uh, which handles our event handling, and, and it's a really straightforward uh, uh, implementation in that we're really only looking at three things. We're going to do Add Advise. Um, on marker events, let's come down to here. Uh, when shapes are added to the drawing, when shapes are deleted from the drawing, uh, our double click event, and uh, the, the handle none pending, which really takes these uh, other processes and allows us to work with them on a queued basis. The other, uh, one other thing that makes this different than the example that came with the uh, 2010 SDK is that we're not using WinForms. We're using uh, WPF. 
up. And first of all, we should rebuild our solution. And since we're using WPF, uh, we've created two sub-projects, uh, which are user controls that hold the Visio uh, ActiveX drawing control and the Visio ActiveX viewer. And here's our setup for the XAML. There are two forms in this application. Uh, the, the first one being uh, the, the primary one that uh, allows us to uh, drop shapes onto a, a Visio control and have those shapes put into uh, a data table, data grid. And the second one is a details form that, that allows us to pull up information specific to, to a selected shape. So once we've done the uh, build, start debugging. And here's the application. It allows us to click a button, which drops a shape on the uh, Visio drawing. Uh, the shape added event uh, fires off a method to add the uh, shape to the working data table. Um, we can add a couple of other shapes. And then what we'll do is we'll select that, and move it up, add another workstation. And the application keeps track of how many we've put on the drawing. Uh, the background queries it is gathering the retail wholesale data uh, to give us some uh, total information on the form. We can double click a shape. That opens the other form, uh, gives us a, a, a picture of what we've selected as well as the detailed information. One of the changes that uh, happened in this application because we're working with WPF is WPF doesn't like uh, metafiles. So this is actually a second uh, drawing control. And we're uh, dropping the master shape from the stencil into it. And that's all we have to say on this one.